What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Uh, today we're going to be taking a look at the Italian legend Fabio Cannavaro in the first part of a two-part review with Cannavaro and Baresi. Guys, I do have them in a 4-3-3 fourth variation formation all Italian side. Before I get into complete details of Cannavaro, I want to give a huge shout out to everyone who that who requested um, that I do Cannavaro. Obviously people requested Baresi, so I wanted to put the two together. Italian legends, uh, they're definitely uh, solid in the back line for me, averaging uh, one and a half goals allowed per game, which is really good in my opinion. This team scored a lot of goals for me, so having one and a half goals <laughs> Uh, allowed a game. I was definitely able to win majority of the games. Cannavaro is a great defender. He's a great tackler. He's so strong. He was a brick wall, that balded beauty at the back. I really, really enjoyed playing with him. Um, for those who don't know about Cannavaro, he won a World Cup with Italy. He won the ball into or and he played for many Italian sides, including Napoli, Parma, Juventus, on a couple more, as well as Real Madrid, guys. This guy had an illustrious career, um, and he definitely deserves a legend card on FIFA, and I'm so glad that he has one. Um, but we're now going to go ahead and take a look at the face card stats, guys. 73 pace, 39 shot, 57 passing, 65 dribbling, 91 defending, and 81 physical. He does have a three-star weak foot and two-star skill moves with a low high work rate. I mean, I didn't end up scoring any goals in the six games that I played with him, which is a little disappointing because he does have the ability on corners. I just didn't get as many corners as I wanted to to be able to test out that aerial ability. Um, but without further ado, guys, we're going to get into the in-game stats and then the highlights for pros and cons thereafter. Cannavaro's in-game stats, guys, 88 interceptions, 93 jumping, 89 reactions, 87 strength, 90 heading accuracy, 93 marking, 3-star weak foot, 2-star skill moves, low high work rate, along with aerial threat, tackling, tactician, and complete defender specialities with no traits. This guy, just like Baresi, is a beast in the back line and is so reliable. I had so much fun playing with these two. These guys are amazing. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at some highlights, guys, and jump right into Cannavaro's pros and cons. My first pro for Cannavaro was his tackling. Uh, probably the most important of any defender is their tackling ability, and with Cannavaro, it really feels spot on. Every tackle he makes feels like a rough one. Attackers do not stand a chance with Cannavaro flying at them. I also think that his positioning on defense really helps... Uh, his tackling and with a high or low high work rate, he's able to focus on defense and stay back to lurk around for slide tackles or interceptions. So his work rate is good for that, but I will get into a little bit later about how I don't like his work rate. Um, my second pro for Cannavaro is his pace. He's actually one of the faster center backs I've played with on this game with a 73 pace rating. Uh, Cannavaro is able to use his strength and great defense to make a tackle, yet his pace allows him to run down long through balls to cut them off as well as catching up uh, to a pacey striker that may have gotten behind the defensive line. His pace really adds to an already great defensive card um, in my opinion. My third pro for Cannavaro, one that I really didn't exploit all that well, I talked about it a little bit earlier, was his aerial ability. Um, with a 93 jumping rating and a 90 heading accuracy rating, um, I wish I had gotten more chances of corners to show his aerial ability to you guys. Um, opposite of Berezi, who is a bit shorter than Cannavaro, he really does a great job getting in position for corners um, to get a chance for a set-piece goal. He also has the aerial threat speciality, um, and he definitely is someone to look for when crossing it into the box uh, during a set-piece and I wish, like I said, I could have gotten more corners to do so, but I just simply didn't. Um, now, I do have two cons for Cannavaro, and the first one um, is one that many of you have expressed you aren't a fan of, um, and that is a work, uh, his work rate and the ability to get forward as well. Um, as, I, as I have expressed in my other defensive reviews, I'm a huge fan of defenders who can get forward to make something happen offensively. Uh, though he has a good chance of scoring off corners without a set piece, there is no chance of Cannavaro scoring 
Um, and his 39 rated shot may be an indication of that. My second con I have for Cannavaro is his dribbling. Um, his dribbling rating is very poor at 65, and in my opinion, it shows when he's on the ball. Uh, he can make great tackles on the back line, but as soon as you get to the ball, you get the ball at the feet of Cannavaro, um, I would suggest getting rid of it as soon as possible. Otherwise, the opposition opposition may get the ball back that you just worked so hard to get. This is now going to take me into the overall summary of Fabio Cannavaro, and I believe that out of a 10 scale rating, he deserves a 8.4 out of 10. Uh, this is the highest center back rating yet, passing Bobby Moore at 8. His pros and cons are listed as well as the games played, uh, the goals which he didn't have, pass completion percentage, uh, tackles 1 percentage, and his average match rating. Um, in 6 games, him and Baresi only had a, one clean sheet, but like I said earlier, they still did have an impressive 1.5 goals allowed a game. Um, I definitely think I can score more goals than that in the game. I was very happy with the defensive support these two brought me. Uh, Cannavaro is a great defender who is a threat to head home uh, goals on corners, and if not for his low work rate and poor dribbling, he would definitely be my first center back to breach uh, the 9 mark. So up next in my reviews, we have the second part of the two-part review with Cannavaro Baresi, and then the first three-part review with Vieri, Zola, and Inzaghi. I'll keep requesting Legends, guys, so that I can keep my list going. It is actually getting long, and I'm trying to catch up. Um, I'm actually going to do a Robert Baggio uh pez legend review eventually as well which i think is cool as always guys feedback is appreciated if you're feeling crazy hit that like or subscribe button i appreciate you guys checking out this review and until next time i will talk to you later